Hey guys, what's up? It's MBT here, nothing but tech, and I just wanted, before I start this video, to give all of my subscribers and anyone watching my videos a big thank you. My channel's only been up for a few days or a few weeks, and I already have four subscribers, which doesn't seem like a lot, but over time, that could be good. And I have 27 views, or something like that, on some of my videos, so I just wanted to give you guys a big thanks, and there's more reviews to come I'm actually editing an iPhone 6 review as we speak today it should be up in a few days I just got a new external microphone and I just ordered my OnePlus one there's a lot of products coming there's a lot of big things coming up and there's so much for this channel ahead of me so really any of my subscribers tell others and thank you so much and guys so this is my channel as you can see we're going to start this video on GarageBand. So this is a beginner's guide to GarageBand. Okay, so you're just going to want to open up the file. It looks like this, if you can see it right there. This is what it looks like. So um, I think it's a good application for beginners. Eventually you're going to want to get Logic, but for now it's definitely a good application. So it loads up, and this was a project that I did in my last video. So I'm just going to click File, New, and this is the screen you'll be faced with when you open it if you've never opened up GarageBand before. So this video is probably going to be two parts because I'm actually using Screencast-O-Matic for this video because I just got a new Mac, so I don't have all my programs and everything on it, so right now I'm using free applications till I get all my programs back on it and all my applications and everything. Right now I'm actually using the NT USB versatile studio quality microphone. I'll link the review to that in the link in the description. So if you're hearing good audio quality versus my other video, that's why and I will be using this for now on. Uh, so you're going to be faced with these options. Keyboard collection, amp collection, voice, ringtone, hip hop, electronic, songwriter, empty project. Just click on empty project for now. And then for the input, you can do input two, which would be over here. You can pick the NT, the road NT USB. This is going to be weird. Sometimes it doesn't work. It was actually very frustrating getting this set up. It took a really long time. So just be aware of that before like you do anything. So up here, if you're going to use like the road NT USB microphone or a keyboard, I'll show you how to do a keyboard. I actually have a keyboard, but we're not going to be using it for this video because that's a little bit more advanced. So that will be in the more advanced video. Sorry I'm talking fast. I will slow down my talking. Okay, so you can play sounds from your Mac. You can record using a microphone. That's what I'm going to do. Or you could do these other two options. I'll touch base on those in my GarageBand series. There will be a GarageBand playlist, actually, if you want to check that out in a few days. There will be a playlist. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to click Create. And let me actually just make this window a little bit smaller so then you can see everything. Right, I'm actually using a 27-inch Retina 5K display iMac. So it might be like... So this, the free application actually doesn't fit the whole screen. So that's why this is made smaller. You won't notice it on your screen though. Okay, so if we want to just record audio right up here. This is the audio recorder. So you're going to want to click that and that will start your audio recording. So I could be like, hello, this is NT USB microphone recording and this is MBT recording it. And then you just click the space bar to stop it, or you can click this button. Now to go back to the beginning, you click this button, and that brings it back to the beginning. Over here, you got your one, two, three, four count in. I turn that off, and then you've got your like there are beats back and forth. I also turn that off. You got a tuning fork, and you got a loop. So only play these four beats over and over again. Turn that off unless you want it. Up here, you got your beats, the bar, and everything. I actually, I keep it a 4x4 signature. You can actually change this to minutes if you want to. And you could also move the beats doing that. I'm going to just leave it at beats though, but you could change it to minutes if you really truly desire. So now if we play this back, we just click the space bar or the play button. Hey guys, this is the NT-USB microphone and it's being recorded by NBT. No, we didn't actually hear anything on that. 
but there was sound since the microphone's plugged in. You would hear it if you put in it through the microphone. I will play this into the movie, but you would hear it. And over here, you can see that the highs and the lows. So this was a loud part. This was lower and lower. So it got loud, low. Over here, you could control if the track's too low. You can move up the volume, move it down. I leave it about there. But if I'm using some loops and some loops are like louder than others and I want to even it out, I might make this total and then the other loop all the way down. This shows you how loud you're actually talking into the microphone. So that's good. If you want to just listen to this track, let's say I add another track. I know I'm getting pretty scatterbrained, so I'm just going to add a few tracks and we'll get to them later. This button is to mute the track so then you can listen to other tracks. So if I had these two other tracks, I can mute them both so then I could just hear this one. If I just wanted to do that, though, I could just click the little headphone icon and then it will only play that track. Over here, you don't really need to know that button, but if you want to, you can. That button will just change the pitch of everything. So this button over here, if you click this, you could do the volume. And then you can click on this. You have to turn that off. But you can click and you can change things. Don't really need to know that. So we'll leave that to a later video. Okay, so let's say that I have a song from iTunes. Let's say I go to my music and I do my logo ringtone. And I search it up here. So what you want to do, I feel like I'm skipping a lot of steps. So we're just going to go back out of this. Over here, there's something that looks like a camera and a music. If you go to this and you go to audio, and then you go to music, and you search something, or you could find something from all your music. So you could find all your music, or you could just search something. So logo is all I really have to search, and I'll get my ringtone. I just take it and I drag it in. Dragging in, I can pick what beat I want it at, and then I'm just going to click this again, and it goes away. Over here, you can pick how big things are. So you can elongate them, so then you can see every little thing. So now, if I go to the beginning of this by just swiping on my mouse, it might be different for everyone, so I won't really go over that. You could see that, like, it goes so fast, so you probably don't want to make it that long. You can go maybe halfway. And then you could still see where the highs are, and you can even make it a little bit longer if you wanted to. And as it gets really stressed out, stretched out, you can see exactly what's going on. It's a little bit lower and then it got higher. So you can see exactly, it goes by beat, 1.2, 1.23, 1.3. So I think that that's a pretty good feature if you want to use it for this. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that track for now and we're just going to make this all the way down. I'll actually move it out a little bit. And then here we go. That, now this track would play, if I unplug my microphone you could hear it. I'll actually add this track file if you want it, I'll link it in the description if you want it. All the files in this video will be linked in the description if possible. So over here, this is my logo ringtone. You can adjust the volume on this, and now if I record another thing. Hello, this is MBT, nothing but tech. Thank you guys for watching so far. I think we're at 8 minutes and 38 seconds. And then I stop it. Now over here, now these two tracks will be playing. If I feel like this track is overpowering, I could put the volume all the way down here. And put this volume up. And then they might be even. You would have to figure it out. It would be good. Alright, so that's how to add like an iTunes or something. So I'm just going to delete this again. Delete this. The way you delete things is you hold on one of the tracks. If you want to delete a whole track, and then you just click the delete button. It used to be harder, but it's definitely gotten easier over time. Okay, so over here, if we just go to, like, voice, we can change how my voice sounds. So I could do, like, tube vocal. And now when I record, my voice will sound much different. Hello. It will sound much different than if I was just on bright vocal or narration vocal. I leave it on narration vocal when I'm doing voiceovers, and I put it on classic vocal when I'm singing. Okay. These three buttons, this button is a notepad so you can write things. You don't really need to know that button. Over here, but this is like if you wanted to put lyrics, then you can remember. 
over here. This is called loops. It's called Apple loops. And they're basically little things, little like 16-bit things, 32-bit things, 8-bit things that play and made, they're made by Apple. So if you add one of these in, now you might actually be able to hear it. I am not sure because I'm actually recording right now. So I'm not sure. I don't think you will be though able to hear it. So if you add that in, then if you want, let's say I just want beats. I can click on beats and then I just want dry beats. And I want grooving beats too and I want acoustic beats. And I want clean beats and I want single beats and I want urban beats. Then these four beats will come up and if I undid all these, then you're you're really filtering your search once you click all these because otherwise there's a lot more. So now these are the beats that I want. These are the exact things that I want. So now once I figure out which one I want, I can add it. There will be a separate video in the series on mixing. Mixing will come up, and I promise, because I know that I actually got a few of those requests for mixing. So I'm actually making a whole GarageBand playlist. So right here, you can separate these by a beat, so then this will come in first. And then you can click this, which we'll get to later, but you can decide how you can click this, and then you could have it come in at first really quiet by moving it down and then you could have it so you could have it like slant down like that and then eventually gets a little bit higher and higher and then by the end it could be really high so it would be like bridge like that and then you just press that to make it go away and that would change that would alter the way it comes in and that would change things okay over here this is just how to cut things that button this button is just to mess with the mids the highs the lows you don't need to know any of this I know everything probably looks really confusing you don't really need to know a lot of it if you just want to create a very simple track I mean this is really easy I'm just gonna delete all of I'm just gonna delete this and we'll just have this left and I'm just gonna keep this on now I'm just gonna keep it on narration so I'll delete this and delete this data of course and then we're just gonna do this click create and that's good over here let's say that you just want to create like a quick audio intro I kinda of showed you how to do this before but there will be a separate video on ears like how to hear things and things like that so I'm gonna leave that to the next video but this video is just basically an introduction video and I hope that like you enjoyed it. Um, it was pretty quick introduction. It wasn't that long. I think it was about 13 to 14 minutes. So it was not that long. But I think it gets the job done for just an introduction. And then there will be other videos regarding this.